Hello and welcome to Zed's Tech Tips. My name is Zed. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Xeon Smooth 4 and how you can control the gimbal remotely. Now, why would you choose to do this? Why would you need a remote control for a gimbal that's designed for handheld use? Well, there's multiple reasons. And one of the main reasons is I can mount it on a tripod and I have the flexibility of choosing various angles. And you know, for one, I do like being able to control the gimbal from a distance rather than holding it handheld. How do you do this? Well, for one, you're going to need two phones. Yes, you're gonna need two phones. So if you have one lying around, that's great. If you don't, try and borrow it. So I'm gonna to refer to the two phones as primary, which is gonna be your shooter, and your secondary, which is going to act as a remote control. What do you need to do? Well, for one, you place your phone onto the Smooth 4, and you make sure that everything is balanced perfectly. And in your secondary phone, you have to make sure that the ZY Play app is installed. It doesn't really matter if the ZY Play app isn't installed on your primary phone. You can make do without it. You can shoot with your native camera app. You can even shoot with Filmic Pro. You can shoot with Cinema FV5. There is a whole range of softwares that, or apps that you can choose from. So let's get right into it and this is how you do it. First things first, you mount your phone onto the Smooth 4 and make sure it's perfectly balanced. On your secondary phone, you turn on the ZY Play app or you open the ZY Play app and make sure that the gimbal is switched on. After this, with your second phone, you have to sync it to the gimbal. Now, once you've synced the ZY Play app from your secondary phone to your gimbal, this is what you need to do. On your gimbal, hit the little menu button and you'll notice on your secondary phone, you get a new menu. So you click settings, scroll down camera mode, and then hit original. Once in original, on the bottom right hand side, you'll see an icon. Click that and then move over to joystick. Now here you go. So as I turn left, it turns left. As I turn right, it turns right. Go down, start tilting down, and then I can go up. Now, if you click restore, it goes back into the center point. If you click reverse, the controls do get reversed. It doesn't always work, but when it does work, it's pretty good. So I like the way it is set up right now. And you can change it here on the left-hand side. You've got different functions, where you've got this little tilt, which is really, really nice. And then you can click on restore. Once again, it comes back to the center point. I can do pan follow, where that's all you're doing is your panning and tilting. Sorry, panning. And then you've got lock, which you're doing left and right. Thank you so much for watching Zed's Take Tips. I hope this was helpful. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you have any sort of questions and comments for me, please leave them down below and I'll make sure I try and answer them as soon as possible. If you want to stay in touch with all the new content that I upload, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So once again from me, Zed, thank you so much for watching.